Twelve months of travel, finally. Doug was here, back at Field Farm, where he grew up as a child. When the zombie destruction occurred nearly twelve months ago, first thing he did was call home. His parents answered. They said they'd wait for him. It's taken him so long to get home. He pulled up with a familiarity to what was happening around him. He entered the house where he had all his childhood memories. He began to search room by room for any sign that his parents might still be alive. On the hob, a rotten, rotten food. What did that mean? Room after room, empty, with little or no sign of life. Doug took off his motorbike helmet, began to panic slightly. He thought, they must be here. He decided to check upstairs. Every door was closed. Nothing in the upstairs bathroom. Nothing in his old room. Nothing in another room. And nothing in another room. Just as he was about to go back downstairs, he passed a window. One grave, one body, one empty grave. He feared the worst and ran down and, to his horror, his mother on the ground next to what he could presume was his father. He picked up his mother's body, placed it in the open grave, carefully filled the grave back with soil. His mother and father both dead. Welcome to the field farm. Here is our task. We must we must avenge, avenge the untimely death, maybe the timely death, there was no zombies involved, of Doug's parents, who we'll call mum and dad. We must explore the farm, see what we've got, and try and survive. Um, I'm Cirque, and this is Doug, and in this series we're going to try and live on farming only, and whatever we find in the house. So we've got what's in the house, and then through farming only, so we should really get started and do some... Do some some plots down there. Look what we got over here. We've got some farming gear already. Nice. We've got some modded farming stuff here. So these are the Agro Stars mod, and we've got two tractors. Um, let's have a look. Let's get in. Oh, oh errors. We'll cover those up. You won't see those. Uh, we don't have a key for this tractor, so that's that's a problem. We may have to learn to get some burglary uh, to uh, hotwire. That's what I'm looking for. Hot wiring might be in. Might be called for. Aha! Ha, ha, ha. Nice. Key for this one. Does it work, though? There's some fuel in it, but there's no battery. Battery's dead. Right, okay. Let's... Uh, I'm going to leave the key in it. Just in case. We need our end and time of the end. Doug's brother has to come and finish off. So... This farm looks like it's got Doug's childhood home and it's very overgrown. There's a lot of... This is where we're going to be farming, but it's all overgrown with just trees and rubbish. Um, so we should probably have a look over here. Let's see here. Look, here's a nice fenced off area over here. So we can... Maybe use this area. Maybe dig some furrows here. Might be an idea. Let me go and do that. Let's, let's start off in the corner over here. Let's dig some furrows. Let's dig one. This is not permanent. We're just going to dig some furrows. Space, no, let's space them out slightly as well. We don't want to get diseases here because we might maybe a bit messed up if we did diseases. We're already moist and slightly thirsty. Lovely. Let's do six for now. So I spaced out so we don't get any infections. 
in our plants and eat diseases. Our plants can't get infections, can they? They get diseases. Um, okay, so what's this? Is that anything useful? No. Trees? Anything useful in the trees? No? No? We have put the tree mod on for like having our own juicy fruit trees, which would be nice. Let's, let's do another couple here as well. Let's do eight. Okay, we've got eight. Here we go. Let's uh, let's head on over to uh, our vehicle. Let's speed this up. Let's do the old walk into thing here. Let's get back to the Harley Davidson over here, and let's grab our potato seeds, which we've nicely bought with us. It's very useful that we've bought these two seeds with us from our adventures across across the rest of the state. We've come here from. Uh, Around the New York area, and we've got ourselves a water bottle, gas, empty gas can, screwdriver, a couple of beer bottles, canned mushrooms in that side bag, and the other side bag we've got some more food and some, a change of clothes as well if we need it. So yes, that's useful for us. So let's go. We know at some point we need to clean up some blood from my family over here as well. We we'll do that at some point. Um, we need to go and check out what's in these buildings as well. But I really want to get these potato seeds down first in case we got. Um, just to get it to get them growing. I mean, we haven't got any water um, that I know of. Although I do think this farm's meant to have a... Aha! There it is. A well. Well, well, well. Nice. Natural drinking source. We are a bit thirsty. Let's have a, let's have a drink. Nice. Look at that. I mean, that does make it a bit easier. But we're still going to want fire for cooking and stuff, so we still need to gather up wood and things, and we want to do a few cool little things. Did I bring those seeds? I did, yeah. Let's open the seed packets. 100 seeds. How many seeds is it for a... Uh, four seeds. Average grow time, 28 days. And we've got fast on, so that's what, maybe two weeks to grow? That's terrible. We're going to starve to death, aren't we? We need to... Uh, find some more some quicker seeds some carrots I think are the quickest to grow and I hope there's a lot of food in this place we might be eating rotten food that's around how many more seeds we've got 68 seeds we can make way more furrows in this let's make another row here there's a tree on top of that one we can't do anything with that for now we'll skip that one we can make it look nice while we're here do that oh rain that's perfect. Let's just plant everything. Let's just dig as many furrows as we can. Come on. Dig. Move, dog. Move. There's rain happening here. Bees. Do one more row here. Get this done. And get these potatoes down. God knows how long uh, Doug's parents have been uh, been dead for. But hopefully it's not too long as things have gone bad around here. I say bad. Things have decayed and which we still, hopefully we've still got a decent number of items here. But things do look in pretty bad shape around on the farm. So there's a lot of cleaning up to do. That's the other part. Well, we've got to make it, we've got to do some spring cleaning. We've got to make everything look nice once we've you know got ourselves established here. So these are all our potatoes. These are pretty much all our seeds now. We've got a few backup seeds, but there's no reason not to get all these planted right now. Because we need it all. How many more have we got here? A few more for us. Let's do a couple more. It's already half two. I, guess, I think this day is going to be spent just exploring the farm. Getting our bearings here. Let's get rid of this grass as well. Let's dig a furrow. That's, that's, that's not what I wanted. I don't want to forage. We're not foraging. That's not what we're doing here. We're planting seeds. We can't forage either. We're just farming. That's all we're doing. And also, which is nice, that we haven't got any zombies. Touch wood. My desk is wood. There you go. Touch wood. There's no zombies around. It's getting quite quite dark over there. Overcast, isn't it? And more we got. Two more furrows worth. Let's do it. Let's just get them done. Let's get them down. We would have got quite the little patch going here. Okay, let's sow these potatoes. 
There we go. We're out of seeds. Nice. That's uh, well, three worms, we can, which we can eat if we get desperate. Oh, that count as farmed? You know what? If we have to eat the worms, then if things are desperate. I'll allow worm eating. Let's go and check out this little outhouse here. Let's hope it's not locked. It's not. Good. What we got in here then? Bag of concrete powder. Not useful right now. Wood glue, very useful, and a tactical axe, very, very useful. We're going to have that. That's We can cut some trees down with that. That's amazing. Uh, the wood glue we can leave in here for now. Chest, chest. I wish it was a chest. Okay, that's a concrete powder. A magazine. That's a shame there's no guns in that. That'd be awesome. Metal pipe, propane tank, some springs which are for the workshop. Metal sheet, propane torch, metal pipe. Okay, that's good. Keep all of those in here. Two sheets as well. We'll take those because we want to put some sheets in our windows. And some things we can disassemble in here as well once we get the right the right things. We got a hammer. No hammer. Hmm, that's a shame. No hammer. That that could cause us some problems. Okay, so there's that. Go check out the uh we're getting wet as well because we're outside. But we're getting peckish, that's not good. But we are that's stealth. We are also where are we? Out of shape. So we're overweight, I think that is actually meant to be. We're overweight, so we can lose we can lose a few pounds. We not definitely were overweight, weren't we? I'm sure we had the overweight trait. Well, either way, we had overweight. What have we got in here? Plank. One plank. Brilliant. Okay, that's fantastic. One plank in the chicken. I mean, I don't know what I expected. It is a chicken coop. What else have we got around here? There's that down there. I think that's just a barn. I'm not, not going to go check that out right now. I think we should go and see what we've got in the house. We need to chop down a lot of these trees around here, make it all safe. Well, the Harley can stay there, I'll put it like that. Let's get in the house. I think we sheet up places where we're going to be more often. So I think, do we care about probably the front room? We're not going to be in here that much. Kitchen, again, there's nothing. Some pickles, nice. Some rotten ham, I mean, if desperate times, we may have to eat some of this. Pickles as well, that, is that it? Is that all we've got? Pickles. Oh, okay, we've got some cereal. Pasta, tortilla chips, very good. Some plates. I just saw some of the stuff there as well. Hand opener. Oh, yes. Kitchen knife. Useful for cooking. Plates and teacups and dish towels and things. Canned food. The dog food is probably going to get eaten here as well. We've got calories on here as well. A lot of calories in the dog food, which is good. Um, there's a saucepan with some rotten rice. I mean, ultimately, that's a saucepan. We don't know. That's good that we have a saucepan. Okay, let's keep having a look around, see what we got. Some crates in here, what have we got in here? A toaster. Nice. What's that do? Flashlight. We'll keep that in there for now. And we grab the flashlight. I mean it's we've got the weight for it. Let's grab the flashlight. We want to, can we attach that? No, that's just it's got a battery in it, which is nice. So that's that's good. That's something. Paintbrush and some empty, an empty bucket. That's awesome. Um you know, I will grab the paintbrush right now, and I will just go and place it out the back door here. I will add a sheet to this back door as well. We will block that down. And I will just place this bucket down on the ground here, just to collect some water. Okay, uh, I think we add our other sheet to the front door. That's probably a good idea. With some windows either side, I mean, there's not much we can do, but... Pop that on there. At least, it might help. Okay, let's carry on looking around at the farmhouse. What do we got? A few books. Advanced farming. Farming for intermediates. Cooking for beginners. That could be useful. No basic farming, though. That's a shame. We've got the other ones. That's quite a lot. Intermediates. We've got three to four, five to six. We just need basic, and we're, we're halfway there. Our farming school is already three, which is good. Our base is great. Our strength's really good as well. Oh, we're getting anxious now because we haven't, we haven't got a smoke. Do mum and dad smoke? That would be useful. Has he got any smokes in here? A sheet of paper and a radio. Awesome. Can we turn this thing on? Is that going to help us? It's got a battery in it. Let's turn it on. Turn the volume down. Got anything useful here? Uh, aren't we looking for the emergency broadcasting, really, aren't we? I don't think we've got it. I think that's meant to help you find out what the weather's going to be like. Let's just keep that turned off for now. We might even just disassemble that radio at some point. For XP or just because we don't want it. We've got in here. So this is our the front room. We haven't got a VHS player in this telly. We don't even have a power at the moment. We don't even know how to use generators. So that's another thing. Perfect. 
Look at all these beginner books. That's amazing. We'll take these with us and we'll put them in the crates. So we can move those. We want to assemble that bookshelf. So let's put all the books in this crate here. Let's pop that in. That's awesome. Two book cooking for beginners books. We've got all the farming books where we're going to need, probably. What else have we got then? In here. A leather jacket. We've already got a leather jacket, haven't we? Yeah. But that's another good one. And some pants. Okay, cool. And some things to dissemble. Not too bad, actually, so far. Oh, where have we gone? That's right. We've built, looked all the way down there. Oh, there's a door. Oh, we've closed the door behind us. So kitchen's explored. There's a staircase. What the bathrooms are. Oh, we've got the bathroom. Bandages. Nice. We'll take keep those with us. Some perfume. Bath towel. That's nice. We'll run ourselves off. Hairspray. The soap. That's always useful for washing ourselves. Two sinks here full of water. Which is nice. First aid kit. Oh, my God. First aid kit. Mum and Dad. So useful. Oh, <laughs> oh yes, please. Let's let's take the stuff out of that. How much do they weigh? It's not a lot, is it? Let's just keep them in our inventory for now. You never know when we're going to need that stuff. And the first aid kit. Let's just pop that back in there, back inside one of these. We've also got some tweezers. That's nice. Keep those. Let's get rid of the glass out of us. First aid. That's the same one we looked in. That's the one with it. I mean, this end one. Another sheet. Perfect. And some paint. A plunger. Well, wow. take the sheet. We'll take the painkillers. And we'll attach that on our belt for the right side. Because you never know. We're basically Super Mario now. Let's have a drink out of the toilet. Oh, fancy toilet. Okay, that's, uh, we've got another sheet there. So I think we start sheeting up the front of the house here. Let's add a, add a sheet to here. Put that down there. Good. Got the things we can disassemble in here. That's great. Can we actually sit on this stuff now? We can true actions. I've never used. I don't even use it in my own playthroughs. It's pretty cool. Okay, so this is like a another kind of like a washroom, shorts, money, and underpants in the same. <laughs> in the sound of that money's been attached to those briefs. Eh? And then a couple, whoa, and a couple of empty uh, some suit pants as well. Okay, nice. Well, we can rip those clothes up, and it's another place we can disassemble things and use as a storage room maybe. So that's the downstairs done. Let's go and take a look upstairs. See what we got. See what we're doing with upstairs. Okay, we've got our dresser here with a base Kentucky baseball cap in. Let's wear it. Let's get that baseball cap on. There we go. Now we're cool. Let's go and check out this door here. We got that's a bedroom with a light fixture and a word search magazine. We'll take that. We we'll pop that in our chest in our crate downstairs. What else we got around here? Newspaper, we'll take that as well. I think the main the main, game, the main goal here is to go and explore the surrounding area and see if we've got anything that's going to help us, really. Mainly pencil for the map, awesome. Uh, seeds as well, but it's just got this thing we can have stuff in. See, oh, a TV remote. That's interesting. Considering there's no, as an antique TV, no actual TV that can the remote can be used for. Very interesting. More adhesive bandages, soap, and painkillers. I'm going to take all this stuff, not the soap, well, not the toothpaste even, and take it downstairs. Bandage and soap, we'll take that along with the bath towel. Backup plunger, oh, that's an even better plunger than the one we've got. Let's, let's swap them over. On the right hand side, thank you. Better plunger, good stuff. Eye makeup, anything on the counter? Stuff we don't care about. Okay, great. Um, we don't know, is that all the bedrooms? Is that all? Are we in here? We're in there. You in here? Yes, we went in here. What's wrong with me? I went in here as well, didn't we? So that's everything done in here. We've we got this bath. We've just been in here. There is a roof section here. That's nice. So we can go out on the roof and we can build like maybe we try some farming on the roof at some point. Maybe, probably not. Probably going to see what we're doing. And we can probably destroy this as well when we get a hammer. Yet to find a hammer. That's something we need desperately, I think. Okay. Um. Does my motorcycle helmet give me any protection from the rain? No. All this stuff is useful. The worms. Let's just put the worms in the fridge for now. It's not turned on, I know, but let's just pop them in. Okay. Let's pop our books in here. So books, word search, and a newspaper. They can go in there. And we'll get back to the bathroom. Pop that in. Stuff just pop it in here. Soap, 
battles. Okay, so decent, decent stuff in the house. I think we probably got a bench here we can disassemble as well, which is nice. I think we just move the Harley on underneath it. It's getting a bit wet, isn't it? We don't want to get our Harley to get some wet, here, do we? Let's just let's just move it in a little bit. Didn't really start like a Harley, sound like a Harley, does it? But it'll do. Let's get in. Let's get her in, and they're out of the rain. There we go. Okay, so let's grab. We'll keep the we'll get, grab the food. Uh, keep our change of clothes. Uh, water bottle. I don't want to waste the water, so leave that. Uh, screwdriver we'll need on this. And mushroom soup, we'll take that. We'll take the beer as well. We'll keep the gas can. In fact, we'll take the gas can and we'll siphon the fuel from the tractor because we can't even use the tractor yet. And there's no battery, so... I think I'll want to do. Check the vehicle maintenance on this thing. How's our Harley doing in our drive down here? It's in perfect condition, isn't it, more or less? Been let down by lack of, lack of holsters, which I don't think is a problem. Engine's perfect. Battery is great, but that's going to be a, it's a car battery. So maybe we could swap out the battery on the Harley and put it in one of the um, one of the tractors, maybe at some point. But that's not what we're going to do. Okay, so let's get back in here. Let's go and whack our food under our uh, in our food drawer. We're getting a little bit hungry. We could eat a horse right now, but I think we just eat a pickle. I think that might be something useful. Or some tortilla chips. Let's eat a pickle. Oh, that'd be a mistake, but we're eating a pickle. Nice. We want to we, we wanna lose a bit of weight, I think. We don't want to eat too much food. We need those potatoes to grow. So we've got our beer on us. Let's put our beer in the fridge, just because it, you know, that's where you put beer, right? Let's go on the map here and let's put ourselves. We've got a pencil. Can we not use we need pens only for maps? That's a, that's ridiculous. Okay, well, there's a couple of buildings over here which we can go and check out. What are they? We should go and check those out. It's nearly it's, it's getting late, but I think we should go and check them out anyway. Let's head down there. I've got a gas can on, so I know I was going to go and siphon some fuel, but there's another. Buildings over here. Let's go and investigate. We're getting a bit tired, but let's go and have a look. Keep our shovel out, because you never know where the Zeds are. We get tired out very easily on this guy. Okay, these are barns. So this is Disassemble Central, as far as I'm concerned. They're just hay barns, but we can disassemble all this stuff. I don't think there's anything useful in these hay barns. No, nothing useful, but we can disassemble all this wood. I believe we can, yeah. Saw and a hammer, be great. Yeah, that's a point, we haven't got a saw. We can't even, we can cut logs, but we can't do anything with the logs. Oh, don't, don't do that. Oh my god, there's a zombie. Oh, Jesus. Hello. Maybe you're one of the farmhands. We'll take, well, I've destroyed your jeans, but we'll take your clothes. We can rip them all up later. Can we do anything with the jeans? We can't. Let's just leave it. Again, this is nothing in here, but we can at least use it for disassembling again. Be nice. Now, if there's zombies around here, we've got to be careful again, disassembling the area. We'll check them out real quick. Okay, that's. Uh... We are getting tired and it's getting late. And I think this is the out of the bounds of the part of the farm now. Can't see anything. Oh, there's a bit. Let's go and check out the fields. Doug Jr. on standby. The rain stopped at least. Let's, we're out in the open fields here. I think we're okay. And there's no zombies that I can see. Getting thirsty again. That's fine. Only slightly though. This just looks like open field, to be honest. It doesn't look like there's anything interesting. Here. What's this? I keep thinking the trees are special, but they're not. I 
one way to serve with encode anything is just check the map. Any little buildings or anything on the map? No. Okay, let's just let's just jump over this thing here. And let's just have a little wander over this way. A bit out more open here, so you can see anything. No. It all looks fairly wildernessy, doesn't it? I'll run. Okay, let's uh let's head back. Let's head back. Using the old walking thing. Let's get out of here. Okay, all right, so the zombies were, so let's be careful again. Let's have a little run. Use some weight. Come on, dog. Get running. There's our big... Here we go. We're back now. Okay, so we've got a lot of things we can disassemble. We just need a hammer. We may have to go exploring. Hit the bike tomorrow. Go and explore. I think. Let's get back inside. Okay, so ourselves out. Oh, we can check on the, can check on the plants. We can check on the crops. Keep seeing all these things on the ground, thinking they're like things I can like harvest, but they're not. I think we didn't technically farm it, so is it you know should we even be doing that? Probably not. Now we can cut down some of these trees. I think we will at some point, but not. So not we need. There's more pressing concerns at the moment. Let's go and have a look at our crops. Not that big open doors. Let's have a look. Well watered. Nice. Okay, I'm not high enough farming level to know anything else yet. But these ones over here. Let's go and check out the ones that we planted afterwards during the rain. They're all well watered. And the last ones over here. Brilliant. Well watered as well. Good. Now, in theory, we probably should have built these in an area where the zombies couldn't get to. But it's more and like more less likely they're going to come. That's rain again. It's brilliant. Great stuff. Great stuff. I think we get back in the house now. It's a shame there wasn't a saw in there. Right, let's get back inside. We've got this bucket full of water. That could be useful for water in our plants. So let's get in. And let's just place this bucket of water in the oven for now. We won't, well, we can't even use the oven, can we? That's a point. We don't need it, though. We've got the... Uh, Let's just pop this on top of the oven there for now. Okay, let's get ourselves a drink from the well. That's not how that's not. Oh, we could just drink. Yes, yeah, just drink from the toilet again for now. We're very hungry again. We could eat a horse again. We're very tired. Let's eat our half of a tortilla chip. Half of these tortilla chips we've got here. That's helped again. Brilliant. You know what? Let's just eat the rest of these. Let's find a bed. And we'll begin our investigations of the surrounding area tomorrow. Is this a drawer we can get in? No, can't. That's a window we can jump out of. Let's not do that. Let's go to sleep. Join me next time for uh, the next instalment of this series. We're hungry again already. Let's go to bed quick. I've been circ. We've got to lie on the bed first because it's true actions. And we're just ready to. Apparently, this is how we sleep now. Brilliant. Or lie down. There we go. Oh, we have to sit and lie down. This is so cool. Okay. Right. Next, tomorrow, we will uh, go and explore the surrounding area. See you next time. These are the mods we've got for this playthrough. So we've got the a couple of car mods. Uh, Land Rover, Classic and Defender. So a Range Rover, a Land Rover. Uh, I've gone for the Agrostar Farming Company, as it's a farming-only playthrough. I think this adds all the tractors and the plows and stuff in. Antique Armoury. 
uh, Gunfighter, which is for uh, one of the gun mods we've got as well. Authentic Z, different zombie looks and things. The Autostar Motor Club, not for the yacht, but for the quad and the bikes, which would be cool. A uh, nice customizable bus as well as in there. The Yap Rugal, the big 18-wheeler type thing. That's it, the British Weapon Pack, which is really cool, love that. Craft Helper, it's really cool. Uh, love that, really cool, really cool. That's all I'm going to say, apparently. Um, the Irrigation Pipes, never tried this, but it, it could be could be good. Easy Heater Repair, I think, why have I, I don't, that's not one we need. <laughs> Don't need that one. What do we? No, we're going to keep it. it. It was in any of energy drinks. Never used that, but I imagine it's uh, going to help tiredness. Expanded helicopter events. Extra symbols on the map. Yeah, extra tweaks for the map. Better cars. The Filibuster Rhymes used car mod. A fuel side indicator. Just makes it a bit easier to know where to pull up at the gas station. Solo arrays. Not used solo arrays, but I want to try it out. It could be good. Kill count as well, which is nice to know what I've killed with. Lone Wanderer's Saving Grace. Now, I think this adds in a number of uh, recipes for tailoring carpentry, medical, and things. Survival, which could be quite useful. Uh, map UI Legend, which is nice. Mod options, that doesn't matter. That's not even one. Out the window, which is great. Just chip corpses out the window. Get rid. Random spawns by profession. That, that, that doesn't matter. That's We've already... We all, there's, a, there's some RP involved. We don't care about those. Rainwash. Very useful. Rugged recipes, more, more recipes to help survival. Scrap armor, scrap weapons. Sleeping on random things, which was cool. A metal baseball bat. Rain barrels with snow. Snow because we can put snow in rain barrels, which is cool. The workshop, which is a loads more uh, recipes and things. Uh, water trucks. True actions. Vehicle salvage. Warper weapons, because it's funny. Weapon condition and indicator and a supermarket trolley and plantable trees which could be very interesting these are the sandbox options for our farming only playthrough high zombie count i'm only going to say the differences to normal you can see the rest on the screen so high zombie count everything is shut off we're 20 we're 12 months in the future so we started 12 months in so no water no electricity House alarms are very rare. Locked houses are extremely rare. 12 months since the apocalypse. Nature, we've added, we've gone for fast farming speed. I think that's just going to make it a bit more, I guess it's going to be easier. Of course it's going to be easier, but our starting supplies aren't very high. So we're going to want to ration them out and hope we can actually grow something. So that's why. I think it's still going to be hard. It's still going to be you know, coming on for like 10 days before we anything grows. So that's going to be difficult still, I think. Helicopter is on never because we've got the advanced, expanded helicopter events on. Generators are the normal, loot rarity normal. We've gone for double XP because it's more, you know, it's more, I think, what you'd have more on a multiplayer server. Weapon more to hit on. Maybe that's easy mode, but that's how, I, that's how I like to play. No starter kits. In game map is fine. No mini map though. Vehicles, all standard. Zombie law, only all standard apart from instant infection mortality. I don't want to be hanging around waiting to die. And obviously that's because of the high zombie count. Solo arrays are standard, expanded helicopter standard. Yeah, standard. This is our character that we've started with. So he is a farmer. He has farming heritage. He is overweight. He's also a pacifist and a smoker, but he is strong, a nutritionist, and dexterous. So pacifist is terrible, but it's part of his character. It's not he doesn't fight. He managed to get here on his bike without attracting too much attention to himself. And thankfully he's a bit overweight, so we can uh starve a little bit. Smoking's gonna be a problem. A mix with pacifist, it could be could be quite bad. Um squeaky chair. And but dexterous will be useful so we can transfer though you know moving arms around we're trying to sneak around be, be quiet is better um nutritionist which is going to know could be easier to know the value nutritional value of food it's going to help us out and strong is just good all round good for carrying things and strength wise might try and might counteract the pacifist a little bit i don't know the details that's our character